All right, I have a really cool use case to, to share today. So this morning, we got an email from a customer in French. And I actually took French in high school, so I probably could have muddled my way through reading it and replying to it. But then I thought, actually, I could use Relay.app to create a workflow that lets me reply to emails in any language. And so I'm just going to build it in real time right now and show you how I do it. Uh, so first, <laughs> here's the actual email. I, I, I copied it over and sent it for myself because I don't want to reveal the, you know, the name of the customer. But uh, here's the exact email that was sent. You know, uh, I'll show you what it means translated in just a moment. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, a workflow in Relay.adapt that does the following. If an email is received, it's going to check, is that email in a foreign language? If that email is in a foreign language, automatically translate it to English, send me a human in the loop tasks, task to draft a reply in English, translate that draft reply from English into the customer's native language, and then send it back to them all automatically. It's, it's super cool. Um, so let me get started and show you how it's going to work. So first, I'm going to add a trigger. And that trigger is going to be uh, a standard email received trigger. Then the first thing I need to do is figure out, is this email in English or is it in a different language? And to do that, I'm going to create an AI step with a custom prompt. Here's the prompt. Please determine the language of this email. And then I'm going to pass in as context the email itself. And the output I want to get is a text, is, is a text field, which is the language name. Now, after that, I need to create a path. Because if it's in English, I just want to reply to it like I normally reply to emails. But if it's not in English, I want to use this cool AI-powered translation flow. So let's first make the English path um, if the language name is English. Then I'm going to just do nothing, end the run. But if it's in another language, I need to use this AI-powered response system. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use our AI translate step. And I'm going to translate into English the body of the email. And you can see here uh, that I have some additional like custom instructions I can add. I'm, I'm not going to need that in this case. It's a pretty simple use case. Then after that email is translated, I want to create a human in the loop step. And that's the step where I'm going to look at the translation, draft a reply in English. So in this case, it's going to be a data input step. We're going to send it over Slack, but you could send the, the data input request over email too. And here's the message I'm going to send. Please review this translated email from, and then I'm going to reference the language name and draft a reply. Body. And now instead of referencing the original body, which is in another language, I'm going to reference the translation. You can see here that that's in step three, where it's going to translate. Then I'm going to get a data input from me, the user, which is the reply. And in this case, I'm going to use the multi-line text property. And I'm going to call this the reply. Uh, oh, and it's required because we can't, <laughs> we can't send back an email if I haven't given it this reply. Then once I have this reply, I need to translate it back to the original language and then send it an email. And in this case, I'm going to use an AI custom prompt step. And I'm going to say, please translate the following draft email reply from English into, and then I can reference the language name from the original request. And as context, I'm going to pass in the drafted. Oh, actually, I don't need to pass that in as context. I can just include it directly in the prompt. Uh, reply, and then I'm going to use the reply from the data input. And what that's going to output is it's going to output a uh, piece of text, which is the email reply. Okay, so one more step to go. Now we're going to take that email reply and we're going to put it in a send email, oh, excuse me, we're going to use a reply automation in Gmail because we want to reply to the original message. And in the body of the email, 
we want to include the translated email reply. So let me just walk you through one more time everything that's happening in this workflow, and then I'm going to show it in action. We get an email. We detect the language of the email using AI. If it's in English, we do nothing. If it's in another language, we translate that message into English. We then send that translated message to me to draft a reply in English. We then convert that reply I've drafted from English back into the original language of the request. And then finally, we include that translated reply automatically in a reply to the customer. Let me show you how this works end to end uh, with a test run. So actually, I'm gonna, uh, I wanna make sure that I can use this exact, this exact email that I set up as a test. So I'm gonna say filter to subject contains really.app. And you're gonna see it's gonna find that specific email, which is, which is in French. And now I'm gonna start a test run with that email. And I'm gonna narrate in real time kind of what's happening as this test run goes. So first, we're checking to see what language it is. Indeed, it was in another language, and so we're gonna translate that into English. Now, it's my turn to read the translation and draft a reply. So here's the translation. Hi, Relay team, I'm having difficulties with the connection between Gmail and Adio. I feel that my programs are correct because the tests work, but aside from that, nothing happens. Is there a delay? Thanks for the help. And in this case, <laughs> it was a real support case. The user just hadn't turned on their trigger. And so I can write, hi, thanks for your question. Have you checked that the trigger is turned on? And I'm going to submit that. Now, with AI, that response that I wrote in English is going to be translated into French for the customer, and a reply to them was automatically sent. And if I go into my email client and I refresh the page, you'll see that indeed I wrote a reply in French which says, hi, thanks for your question. Did you verify that the trigger is activated? And so um, if you're in a situation where you get emails from customers in a variety of languages, hopefully this is gonna be a really slick workflow for you to automatically reply in their native language in a way that's really easy for you. Check it out at relay.app. You can sign up for free and get going. If you like AI content like this, please you know, like, subscribe, do all that stuff. And if there's a particular use case you're wondering about whether you can use AI to help you, feel free to just post it in the comments below and I'll make a demo video for you. Thanks.